and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be doing my March content preview. Now, if you guys already know, I usually do this video around the first, second of every month. I am a day behind, but I'm still going to be getting it to you guys now. Now, what this video pretty much is, I pretty much go over all of the content that will be coming to Madden for the month. So, like, in January, we had the Super Bowl. We had Team of the Year. We had, what was the last one? Going towards the end, we had NFL Combine. And we had the playoff promo. No, not the NFL Combine. The NFL uh, Honors. But that was, like, right at the end, going into February. And then February, obviously, the NFL Honors, Team of VPs, and the Combine. Now we're in March. So, what can we be expecting in March? Now, guys, before I get into all this and go through everything, make sure you go down below and give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Now, as far as the month of March, what can we be expecting? Now, there's usually two big promos. Now, we already have the combine. Now, technically, the combine is running into March, so we got we're gonna toss the combine in here because it was half and half combine. But I think it initiated in February, so we can't exactly say that that's the the full one. But we do have two other promos that we can be expecting in the month of March. Now, they can be fun depending on the types of players that we do end up getting for them it really just depends on how madden ends up doing it because if they don't give us if well, it it does depend on real life too considering one of the promos is based off real life so the first one's going to be not in any order here the free agency promo now the free agency promo guys like i said that's where it comes down to like it really just comes down to people in real life because at the end of the day you have to realize if no big moves happen in real life then things don't change but remember Tom Brady might be going somewhere. A few quarterbacks might be going somewhere. A few players might be going somewhere. So it could potentially be a big free agency. So if it does end up being a big free agency, it could be super fun. Now I'm going to take you guys over to the Monday screen and show you guys some of the players that we could be expecting from the free agency promo. Guys, right, so coming on over, we have Earl Thomas. He did switch over from the Seattle Seahawks last year to the Ravens, I believe, which is where he got this card. Now remember, any card that gets a free agency card will probably have a pretty juiced card, which is super cool. Because that means that anyone that even changes over will have a good card because we're late in Madden. So, Earl Thomas, 98 overall free agency card. Great, great stats on Earl Thomas. Le'Veon Bell, and he switched over to the Jets. Landon Collins, we switched over to the Redskins. Now, I also believe this does get, these cards do get them, even if they don't switch over. So, I believe if they're, when this promo comes out, if they're still free agents, they just get a base free agent card. As you guys can see, Le'Veon Bell and Earl Thomas did not have a team yet. So, I do believe they gave them this. Yeah, okay, these are defensive masters. So, these are, these are the masters, and these are the, uh, the pieces. Which is weird that, unless well, Landon Collins might have been like an LTD or something. Yeah, I think these all right here were LTDs. Wow, we got a lot last year. These were all LTDs. These were the Masters, and these were the pieces. Now, we got Golden Tate when he went over to the Giants. We got Anthony Barr when I don't actually... Oh, he stayed with the Vikings. Okay, I think he was going to leave and ended up staying. Nick Foles went to the Jaguars. Darrell Williams. As you guys can see, those cards are super, super solid. Calvin Coleman, 97 speed. Some really great options here. Now, I don't really care about the lower pieces. I care, I care more about the, like, the high-end pieces for the most part. But the masters alone were super cool. Le'Veon Bell still with the slow speed. I don't know when EA is ever gonna get that right. Probably never. But at least in this Madden it was slower, guys. I know in our Madden you could power that up and get him to a 99 easily, which in that case I'd probably use this card. But I doubt we'll get a Le'Veon Bell that well we won't because he's not gonna be a free agent. But we could get a Tom Brady card. We'll probably end up getting a Tom Brady free agent master. I don't know who the other free agent guy that's gonna be a big banger will be, but this will definitely be one of them. Now this one's super cool. Now the next one we're gonna be looking for is a promo that. Depending on how the combine and everything goes, could be super, super cool. It usually is. Yeah, so as far as it goes for the dates for the path, uh, not the path for the draft, as far as it goes for the free agency. Now, free agency last year did come out, I believe, March 11th. But the issue with March 11th is that that would be the exact date as last year. And as you guys know, Madden this year, we've always like a little behind. We've been like always two to three days behind on every promo. Literally every single one has almost been behind. So I'd have to imagine that in this case, we probably won't be seeing it to maybe like the 13th or 14th which would work out perfect for me with the way my schedule is going to work out. But if we see that one a little bit later, guys, more than okay at the end of the day. We have no content anyways at that time of the year. So I'll take what we get. Now, next is going to be the path of the draft. Now, guys, as you can see on Mudhead, the NFL draft is very similar to the path of the draft. It's not like they didn't, they didn't separate it. Like, certain players here weren't a part of the draft. They were, like, right before path of the draft. So I'm going to head on over to Madden 19 in just a second to show you guys the difference between them two now. Path of the draft promo did come out end end of March, like the 27th. But again, with the way things are working, I can't see it coming out the 29th, which would fall right in line for our March deadline for our promos. Now, these would be the only two promos probably this month, unless they do like a cool campus here or something right in the middle. Don't think they will. They haven't really been good on. They haven't really been one of those so surprises this year. Like an older Madden's a random promo would come out of nowhere. Wouldn't be expecting it. But this year, 
Haven't really seen any of that. Now, Madden, I think, loading up, guys, so we can go through there. In my opinion, Path of the Drafts, always super cool. Always some 99 overall cards, which is kind of weird, though. I don't think we're going to see the 99 overalls, because if you think about it, we're not at that stage yet. We have, we're, we're not even getting, like, 98s yet, like, consistently. We're getting 97s, and then we have a few 99s. I don't think, though, I think the Path of the Drafts and everything might be 98s. They might not release 99s to April. I think they're trying to increase the longevity of the game, but in reality... But the way it's all about content like we care about player overalls but we need the content to come with it so if that's not kind of like that's lacking at the same time then i don't know if we really care about the overall like the, how they're trying to slowly build them but it's kind of getting ridiculous we've had way too many 97s and 96s at this point like there's like a ton of them you should at least drop a few 98s they did this all year flashbacks and everything but that it is what it is guys let's head on over to madden 19 let's go check out the path to the draft sets and go see everything that, that comes with it guys okay, so we are on madden 19 the greatest game ever not really um going on over to the nfl draft we should see path to the draft within there so path to the draft are the ones that come out before draft day so the draft promo really starts well it starts on path to the draft but the draft day itself is when the big part of it comes out this is prior to it so path to the draft we got chris harris jr so we got an undrafted a late round a late round well we got late round master undrafted master late round first round master first round master so a lot of masters here so start with the undrafted so i will actually believe i feel like we started with with the first round master but it would make more sense for the late round but anyways undrafted master chris harris jr so gonna pick they're probably gonna pick one undrafted player who had a great career or is still or still great in real life and as you guys see comes with a bunch of 98 overall players damn we got a lot of 98 overall players last year and we got tom brady late round master so again they'll probably pick another late round player it probably won't be him because i think he'll be in the free agency promo but again grady jarrett rick ragnar rashad jones it's also kind of cool to see a lot of players and how they became what they were if you don't actually know football that well you'd be like wow he was a late round guy telvin smith late round master another one richard sherman delaney walker john sullivan <clears throat> another really cool one then we got Keyshawn johnson who was a earlier or first round master <clears throat> excuse me that's Joey Bosa, Jimmy Smith, Quentin Nelson. And remember, we could see any guy from the first round take this spot. We could see literally anyone. They could put like Mahomes there if they want to, which I know they won't. They're probably gonna be most of these guys have had already longer careers at this point. Besides Telvin Smith, he hasn't been he's, he's been there, but he's not like he's not like a Hall of Famer or anything. And then Bruce Smith for the other first round master, Roquan, DeAndre Hopkins, and Adrian Peterson. So the set pieces seem like they could be any year, any any overall doesn't really matter. Like Roquan, Roquan super young, but it appears as though. In terms of, oh, I think he was actually a rookie for that one. It's impressive. But in terms of the master themselves, it could literally be anyone. I don't know. Well, probably a little bit older too. I don't know my, my predictions. Like I said, for first round masters, it really just, you can get like an Aaron Donald. That'd be super cool. Like Aaron Donald, first round master. We can get like a late round master. I can't even think right now. Wait, guys. Like obviously, Le'Veon was a little bit later. Russell Wilson. If they look like a mid round master, we can get a Russell Wilson. I don't know if they're going to do a mid round master. They should have done it last year. They didn't. I don't know why, but that would be super cool. Now, guys, Path to the Draft leads up to the NFL Draft, which is going to be one of the final, final huge promos, in my opinion. Like, this general release, like, these promos are really big. Now, we're going to get a look at this. Like, this is huge, and these are all the draft picks that we can get. So, these are going to be 32 overall players. This one's always super cool when you get the collectibles. I wonder how they'll do it this year. Not entirely sure. I'm going to be, I'm excited for it, though. Path to the Draft is always fun. Always fun to play with some rookies in the game. But on that note, guys, that pretty much wraps up the bulk of the content for the month of March. Unless they drop, like, a a surprise campus heroes with like a tim tebow or something that would be super cool i don't know if they will they haven't been like a surprise kind of guy this year hoping for a lot of more stuff coming to the next madden with the next gen consoles coming obviously gonna be picking that up but that yeah, pretty much wraps up this video guys i have nothing more to say on the topic hope you guys did enjoy the video if you are into the channel make sure you're gonna blow hit that subscribe button turn the naughty bell boys come join the family make sure to give the video a big thumbs up come show some support guys we will have another video for the day. Obviously, I've only been doing two videos, guys, because I don't want to force feed you guys videos that you don't need right now. Like, this is good. Another maybe tip video, and that's pretty much it for the day, because if I start doing three a day, it's just gonna, it's just too much, considering that there's not enough to talk about right now. But it's been fun, guys. I've been enjoying the year, and we're getting slowly close to Madden 21. I'll let you guys know it. We really only got, like, three more months. We got the rest of, from now to April, to mod June, I mean, to May, to June. It's three months, and then we got, and then July comes out again. Pretty crazy how close we're getting, guys. That's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said, big thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys have any questions on the new promos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.